what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do clothing and stuff inside of marvelous designer and the basics of uh, this uh, playlist is going to be that we're going to be modeling our clothes in here and then re-topologizing that in here as well then I'm going to show you how you can take that back into your 3D modeling software like Autodesk Maya and easily just texture that or whatever. It's going to be a really smooth and soft process. Okay. So the first thing we need inside of Marvelous Designer is a base mesh. Now, for those of you who haven't used this software, uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there which focus on just navigation and I'm gonna have to recommend that you guys at least see one or two of them but for those of you that are uh, watching you can even like go into preferences and just change this uh, user interface to uh, your 3d modeling software of preference and of course when you come into this 3d tab any mesh that's created by default it's going to be set into triangles just change that to quads it gives you better geometry but it's still bad geometry that is why you need to retopologize okay so in here you can also see all of these settings and stuff not gonna go through any of them just showing you that they are there and the unit system that this is using is centimeters so these are uh, the control things like view controls here I have this set into Autodesk Maya you can change this to 3ds max if that's your software of preference I use Maya a lot so I'm just using the same navigation and panning as this my just save your preference and hit close and you can now just press alt and left mouse click to rotate and alt and mid mouse to drag and the left mouse to zoom in and out so that's the same as autodesk maya let's start by bringing in a base mesh you'll have these settings open what i'm using is a base mesh from daz 3d you can easily just download Daz. It's a free to use software. Everything's free. Just go in it and select a Genesis 3 or Genesis 8 model of uh, your avatar of preference and just set this to uh, Daz scale and automatically arrange, add arrangement points. This is important nothing else needs to be checked object type is avatar and open it so you can see that we have our uh, basic genesis 3 female inside and it's created this outline for her in 2d which shows that it was imported properly okay so for some of you that are importing an avatar sometimes what would happen is that this one generate and you'd have to go in manually in arrangements and you can see that this thing pops up by default it's an a pose sometimes you bring in a t pose avatar what you can do is that you can drag this up and rotate this to make that stand out in the t pose you're gonna have to do that manually and there's some scaling and stuff involved for uh, avatars that like have more curvature and stuff so you grab this point over here and just move this here or wherever or if you wanted you have this point selected and you can change the uh, these parameters to uh, make this wider or uh, make this taller or uh, whatever uh, you need to do okay so I'm gonna close that but uh, we're gonna do next is we're going to 
get a brief overview of what we're going to be doing in here and that is this icon over here by default should look like this which is polygon the shortcut key is H using this we can draw polygons in our uh, 2d view this is 2d pattern window over here this is 3d window you can just click this button over here and change this to whatever view you want you can have two 2d pattern windows like have this open here and 3d over there or like that so whatever uh, you're comfortable with so I'm just gonna go with this default settings again coming in here selecting polygon what we're gonna do is we're going to make a simple dress so starting from the center drag out one line over here one here one this point like so and we are done so now that this has been created what we need to do is press ctrl c or uh, you could uh, just duplicate this by pressing ctrl d the difference between ctrl c and ctrl d here is that ctrl d gives you something that is mirrored with symmetry on so if i do something at this side it's going to be mirrored on that side as well but if I press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, now I have something that's like a completely different setup of its own, okay? But these two are still uh, like mirrored. So whatever I do here is gonna happen over here. And you can press the A key to select them in this view, Q to select them over here. So I'm gonna press Q, shift, left click to select both of them, right click, and we're going to press Ctrl G or the flip horizontal over here. Very good. Just need to move this now. I've been selected. Sometimes that uh, cursor just vanishes, I don't know why. Might be a bug in my software. So, moving this behind her. So, now what we need to do is we need to stitch. Okay, because right now if we simulate anything, it's just gonna fall to the ground and we don't need that. I'm just gonna show you regardless like press spacebar and just drops to the ground you don't need that what you do need is stitched clothing that fits to the form so press N on your keyboard now you're in uh, sewing mode or you can go in here and go into segment sewing shortcut key N Make sure that these lines are straight. If you sew it like top to bottom, it might be tangled up. You don't need that. And you see that it does the same for us on the other side. You can do this in 3D mode and you can also do this in 2D. So for 2D, uh, you know, that's simple. Now if you press space, it will wrap the dress around her automatically, which is super clean. And look at those folds, right? So with just a few clicks, we were able to make a full dress for our character it's not 
finished yet you still need to retopologize this so it's good for animation it's good for uh, rigging purposes because if you give this to somebody who has to rig these clothing on top of this character he is going to hate you man i mean if you knew what the, what the topology on this thing was uh it's super bad and you do not ever try to rig anything without like re-topologizing it first so uh, we will do re-topology in the next video